Hi there, higher running coach and chorus athlete Sage Candidate here. The training talk on looking at some of the variables or the metrics that go into your training, whether you're a road track marathon runner or a mountain ultra trail runner, or you do some sort of other endurance sport, mountain biking, ski mountaineering, climbing, uh, all the physical metrics that we see as a coach uh, you could track with different tools nowadays. And again, this is a sponsored plug by Koros. I'm obviously a sponsored athlete with Koros. I've been with them for a number of years and I really appreciate their support. But with these tools, uh, with the GPS watches, and if you're a Koros user already, you're familiar with some of the different models maybe of GPS watches, but also how the app works uh, with your mobile device, but also on a laptop or computer, uh, you could access a lot of different things. It's very powerful software. And the real uh, key behind this video is one of the latest software updates from Koros in the last month that allow you to really track some of these metrics. So we'll get into that in this talk. All right, so things like heart rate, your maximum heart rate, but also your resting heart rate, your lowest heart rate, can be broken down into different zones. And I did a zone training talk a couple weeks ago, my regular training uh, talk series about you know the five zone theory. But if you're a road marathon runner or triathlete or, or doing some sport where you're doing a lot of flat track workouts or road workouts, a lot of that pace could be, it correlates very well uh, with pace. Your heart rate zones uh, being in five different zones could correlate very well with uh, what kind of pace you might be doing, whether you're zone two training or you're doing a tempo run threshold type of workout, VO2 max interval, stuff like that. So uh, with the new Coros update, uh, you know, I'm always wearing the watch. This is the, the Apex 2 Pro Killian edition from Coros. I also like the Vertix 2 uh, from Coros. Extremely long battery life, uh, but you know, you're tracking things like your distance speed elevation gain, these are all stressors on the body, right? And if you're at altitude, uh, you know, you're, you're tracking your heart rate during your running efforts, and that's all going into a big training load algorithm. And with the new Coros update uh, 3.0 in the last month, we are able to see that a lot better uh, in the mobile app on the progress page. And not only can you look uh, on the progress page and see that update, but you could track things like sleep, right? If you're wearing your watch 24-7, uh, you've got some sleep data, you've got your heart rate, HRV index, things like that. But you could also plug in, uh, if you're tracking uh, maybe your morning weight or something like that, uh, body mass, as well as this muscle heat map if you're doing some strength training. Say, okay, my, my biceps are sore because I was uh, doing some curls in the gym and stuff like that. So a lot of different things going into the whole training calculator, training load. You can even input different workouts in the training calculator. So you see behind me, we have the Evo, uh, the training lab, training hub, the Evo lab from Koros. Uh, this is on the desktop version. Tons of data there where we could look at how we distribute uh, you know, our zone three, zone four, or higher training in our load distribution, so to speak. So you know, if you're doing more 80-20 training where maybe 80% of your mileage is uh, you know, below zone two, zone one, zone two, and then 20% is above zone three, zone four, going into zone five, you could see how that all breaks down in your weekly total. You've got a running seven day total of your weekly volume, uh, but also it's you know putting in that algorithm with your heart rate data as well. So you also see in the progress page in the app, uh, running fitness scores, uh, suggestions for recovery, as well as that heart rate data, sleep data, HRV index, uh, stuff like that. So a lot of cool updates on there. Um, and another cool update was with the breadcrumb navigation on the Pace 2, which I really love because uh, navigation is really big uh, with me. You could actually see the graphics there with the a squiggly line and the arrow uh, on a map. And I've actually downloaded maps, especially my Vertex, which has the ultimate battery life. Another huge advantage with all the Coros GPS watches is extremely long battery life. Uh, but as I was saying with the new progress page, combined with accessing uh, the Coros training hub, uh, you get different fitness challenges, different projections. Looking at data trends uh, as a coach, it's very useful, but also if you're coaching yourself or just monitoring your own progress, it's not just a matter of workouts that you do on a day-to-day -day basis, but looking at trends over the whole week or even multiple weeks and multiple months over time, you could kind of see that progress uh, as long as you have all the data inputted in wearing your Chorus device and uh, it's, it's seamless to track. It's a very nice transition between the watch, the app, uh, and being on 
the training hub. You could really see those fitness trends over different longer periods of time, as well as the suggestions for recovery, uh, what kind of training load you're putting forth, and how you could progress uh, with different workouts as you go through a training cycle. And a final new update that I think is really, really cool is the Explore page, uh, which I get on my mobile phone here on the app. Uh, I have an iPhone, but you could plug in or you could design different routes uh, very easily. There's a manual mode, or there's also a run mode, ride mode. Uh, it snaps to this map and I could see, I could plan out routes, different distances with different elevation gains on established trails or on the roads uh, and then have that sync directly to my watch uh, for the navigation. And I don't even need to be importing a separate GPX file like I used to in the past. So that explore uh, page is really useful, especially when you're on the go. Uh, I could just do it all on my phone here within the app. And then when I'm out running on the trails on a new route, I was doing a nice uh, almost a 12 mile loop today with 2000 feet of climbing on some newer trails. I had it all mapped out ahead of time. I knew uh, where the turns were because I could see it with the breadcrumb nav navigation on my uh, watch as I was running. Uh, I could tell you where to turn, but it also tells you where you are in terms of am I at the highest point of my run? Is Am I doing a big climb? What's the elevation map uh, looking like? And how long is this run going to be? How much uh, climbing is there in total? So really cool way to explore different routes. Again, that is the explore feature, part of the new software update uh, from Koros. And again, really appreciate their support. This is a sponsored plug. Uh, if you go to koros.com and you can learn more uh, on their blog, they've got great information and resources. And again, Amazing battery life with all the GPS watches, plus all these features, and seamless, seamlessly syncs with your phone uh, in the app. Uh, really cool features to unlock uh, with the training hub as well. So thanks for their support. If you uh, load a GPS watch in your cart and then enter code SAGE, uh, you could get a free gift item from their store. So hashtag Koros, hashtag Explore Perfection. Thank you so much for all your support, subscribing, liking these types of videos, and stay tuned for more training talks, adventure videos, adventure run videos, vlogs, stuff like that. Hope you're doing well, and stay tuned for more Via2Max Productions.